Hi everyone, I'm Caio Vitorino and in this video I'm going to show you a palletizing simulation in Omniverse Isaac Sim. Actually, I want to give you a high level over overview of how this is working uh, with uh, integration with ROS2. As I said, I'm Caio Vitorino, I'm a PhD in electrical engineering, specifically in robotics and artificial intelligence. If you are interested in this simulation and in, in other simulations in Omniverse Isaac Scene, please uh, don't uh, hesitate to contact me in LinkedIn. Uh, yeah, in this simulation, I have a ROS2 action server that's uh, generating a trajectory for uh, the UR5 in the simulation. In this implementation, we have five types of uh, trajectories that are already implemented. Uh, if you want to check out how this is working, please see my last video uh, about UR5 uh, inverse kinematics. And also we have a Rust 2 action client. Uh, I forgot to add a C after this A, but whatever. Uh, in this client uh, is communicating with uh, the Isaac scene, scene control. Okay, uh, in this uh, action graph, uh, we have uh, some nodes to read the position of the uh, of the boxes uh, because. I need to know where they are uh, in order to grasp it. Uh, in this simulation, I don't have uh, a grasp generator algorithm using AI or neither uh, a object segmentation uh, model. Uh, I just get the position and the orientation of the boxes in simulation and then I, I use as input to the inverse kinematics and then uh, to the tra trajectory generation. In this uh, action graph, the most important thing is the customized node, this UR5 pick. This node is responsible for creating the ROS2 subscriber and ROS2 publisher. Uh, and this is how I um, I publish the box position and orientation to the Rust2 action client, and this client will send the, the position uh, of the end effector to the trajectory uh, generation server in order to generate the position, uh, velocity, velocity, and accelerations to the robot to follow. Okay? Uh, and we also have the Isaac C articulation control that are uh, available in the documentation, uh, official uh, Omniverse documentation, if you want to create it. Uh, and in the following videos, uh, I'm going to describe in more detail of how this work. But uh, in this moment, I just want to show you uh how this how this work and in this simulation uh i won't make it available yet but if you are interested please contact me uh we have the scene command action graph uh like i said before this action graph is responsible for connecting the simulation with uh, the external ROS2 action client, okay? Uh, we want the sim to set up the simulation as fast as we can because we don't want to waste time figuring out how to, to set up the simulation, uh, to control the robot in the simulation, etc. Uh, we want to use the simulation as a plug-and-play uh, tool uh, or something like that. That's why in this action graph, uh, I'm connecting the uh, ROS2 using the, the subscriber and publishing uh, to the simulation. And uh, I want to show the code in detail. 
but uh, we have here in extension Rust uh, Omniverse extension uh, like this one. This is for the customized node that uh, connect the 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 Rust uh, the, the Omniverse action graph to the Rust two. Here I create the publishers, the subscribers that publish the box position orientation uh, to the action client uh, or the scene controller. Okay. Uh, and basically that's it. We have infinite possibilities to improve this simulation. We can build a complete warehouse uh, simulation with these features and it's, it is pretty straightforward to do with these action graph nodes. So yeah, I'm very happy with this new uh, Omniverse 2 and it opens uh, many possibilities for us robotics developers to, to play with the simulation. And that's it. And like I said, if you want to know more about it, please contact me and I'll be happy to, to talk uh, to you. Okay. See you. Bye-bye.